Everybody's got a Facebook page except you. Hey, what's up? Trevor here, Hollywood editor turned full-time realtor and video coach. On this channel, I teach you to create better videos so you can sell more houses and stuff. And even if you're just a business owner that's not a realtor, stuff on this channel is gonna really help a lot. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there and whack the bell so you're sure to catch my future content. Ooh, if you really want to jumpstart your business, check out my free webinar at videosecretswebinar.com. I'll teach you what you need to know. Start cranking with video. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, they're all killing it now, but Facebook is still relevant despite what your kids may be telling you. You really want to have a presence on Facebook. You really want to have a Facebook business page to help generate more leads and more business. Oh. That, she uh, just wanted to say hi. You hi, wave? Jesus. Wave. Hi, what is... hi. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to make video, but you get cute things. And what, what are you supposed to do, man? Yes, Facebook is still relevant. You want a presence on Facebook so that you can generate more leads and sell more houses. So you need a business page. Let me show you how to create one right now. The first thing you want to do is, of course, jump into Facebook and the option to create a Facebook page or Facebook business page is available from pretty much any page in Facebook. Just click up here in the top right where the plus sign is, choose plus and select page. That'll open up this window and you can start creating the basics. And then in a second, we'll cover the more advanced things you can do. First, you want a page name and let's say you're a realtor and you want to focus on a specific city. We are building a house currently in Grants Pass, Oregon. My wife's getting licensed, so we might create a page called Living in Grants Pass, Oregon. The check mark here tells us that this page is available. You want to be careful if you are a real estate agent that you don't just pigeonhole yourself to one city if you serve a larger area. But if 98% of your business is from one city, it's not a bad idea to use the city name in the name of your page so people can find it. If you do serve a larger area, you could do something like living in Southern Oregon or your actual name or the name of your team. For category, you want to type in that which is relevant. So type in a real estate agent, real estate company. You can put up to three here and real estate service. For your description, I wouldn't make this a sales pitch. I would make this something that is enticing for somebody that comes to your page. So they see your description, they go, oh yeah, this is a page I want to come back to every day because it's going to give me value. This is about providing value, not about promoting yourself. So a description, something like this might be appropriate. Next, you want to hit create page. Now that the page is created, we have the opportunity to add images. So let's go ahead and add a profile picture here for your profile picture. I suggest a picture of you, of your face. Let's go ahead and look right here. My wife will be doing all the heavy lifting. So let's go ahead and hit open on that image and choose her face. And now you see that Leela's face has shown up right here. That's how it's going to look on the page. Next, you want to add a cover photo, fill in this space right here. You can also add a video but you have to do that after you've created the page. So I'll show you how to add a video in a second. So let's hit add cover photo. Let's go ahead and throw this river photo in here. This is the Rogue River in Oregon, which is a cool representation of this area here in Grants Pass. The ideal ratio for a cover photo is this wide ratio here, which is 2.7 to 1. If you don't know how to do that, just take whatever photo and reposition it here, and then you hit save. This is what your page looks like already. Not bad, but there's a lot more we can do to further optimize your page and help it generate more business for you. Down here in the bottom left, you want to hit edit page info. And the first thing you want to do is create a username. Your username should contain alphanumeric characters only and should be related to the name. And it will be something that you can use to create a custom Facebook URL. You may or may not be able to immediately create a custom username. For example, if you've created one or more pages in the recent past, it might prevent you from creating a username right away. And also, since this is the new Facebook, sometimes things glitch out. In my case, when I try to create a custom username, I get this error saying that this page isn't eligible to have a username. This may be because I recently created a, another Facebook page. So what you want to do is get a little engagement on the page and come back in about a week and try to create your username. Next, you want to scroll down to your contact information. Of course, punch in your phone number. Then you want to add your email and I'm going to give it to Leela at joneshomecollective.com and website. This should be the website that you want to drive traffic to. Let's go ahead and put in our business website here. Location. If you have a street address, you can put it in here. If you work from your house, you probably don't want to do that. And service area, you can put in your service areas here. You can put in zip codes, cities, whatever. So let's just put in Grants Pass, 
Oregon for now. Hours, if you want to control when people will call you and reach out to you, hit open on selected hours and choose the hours you want to be available. And you have a few more things that you can do down here, but you don't need to fill all of them out. Most of the rest may or not apply to what you're doing. Hey, if you've learned anything so far in this video, do me a favor and hit that like button right there. It's, it's really going to help me out. Next, we're going to go to settings and there are several things that may interest you here. The defaults are pretty good. A couple things you might want to make note of are that your page visibility by default, it's a published page. But in our case, since we aren't licensed in Oregon yet, I'm not going to launch this page yet. Or the other thing I could do is just take out that we're real estate agents and realtors in that other section and just make it a page about Grants Pass. And then once we are licensed in the state, then I could change it and add that we are our real estate agents here. So I will leave this as page unpublished right now for me. It's asking me why and I'll just say the page isn't finished yet and hit next. I'll check this box and hit unpublish. You probably want to leave visitor posts so that anyone can publish to the page. For most of the rest, the defaults are okay. You can also put a profanity filter on here. Say let's turn it on medium or strong so that if there's any strong profanity that it won't show up there. You can look at the rest of these. Most of these are self-explanatory, but the defaults again are pretty good. Next is messaging. For the general settings, use the return key to send. You can turn that off. I'm gonna turn that off because I like to be able to hit the return key so I can create paragraphs and longer sentences, not accidentally send things. So I'd probably turn that off for me. Next, we have the ability to answer frequently asked questions automatically by clicking on go to automated responses. Let's start at greet people we can have an instant reply off or on. And an instant reply is what happens as soon as somebody sends you a message. We can have it on. This is the default message, but you can change what the default message is by clicking on edit. And then you can say, hi, and you can personalize it. So you can put the first name of the recipient. So it looks like you're actually there. You can leave a message, something like that. Then just hit save here in the top right. You can turn off or on an away message so when you're not there, they get a response to know that you're actually thinking about them. Under share and get information, we have the ability to create frequently asked questions. If there are questions that you get all the time, you just click on this box here, then you click on edit and you can start adding questions. This is really cool. When are you open? Your automated response could be 927 Monday through Saturday. We can't wait to connect with you. And you can add personalization there again, so you can put their first name in there or whatever. And when you're done with that, you just hit add another question. And you can have a bunch of questions here. So it's like you've got a bot answering your most commonly asked questions. There are a few other options that you may or may not need for your business. When you're done here, you just hit save. And then we go back to the top left, living in Grants Pass, Oregon. And let's go back to settings. The next cool feature is templates and tabs. This allows us to adjust the layout of our Facebook page, what people see when they land on our page. There are many options for the templates that you can use, but the default is probably fine. Services is the default template. Now these are the things that will appear on your page. If the if you see blue, that means it's gonna show up. If you don't wanna show services, you can just turn it off. Depending on your business, you will have these off or on. We probably do want to show services. It's a new page, so there are no reviews yet. And we're not selling a product. If you're a realtor, you're selling your service. So you probably want to turn shop off if you're not featuring anything. If you don't have any current offers, you'll want to turn that off. And you can drag and drop these so they appear in this order. If you are heavy on photos, you might want to just click on photos and drag it up here so that photos show up first. And then maybe if you're big into video like me, in fact, I'd do that first. I'd put videos first and your about page is not a bad thing to feature up near the top as well. Look at each of these and see what applies to you. When you're done, you can just go up here on the top left and choose living in Grants Pass, Oregon. And notice that it is not in the order that I last had for it. So what you want to do is just refresh the page. To refresh the page, just hit that refresh button there. And now home. And then about is next. And then videos. And then photos. It's in the order that I created for it. And 
it's a brand new page there's not a lot to see here yet but this is what the page will look like to you if you want to see how it looks like to a visitor you click on view as visitor and then this is what your page will look like notice that over here on the left with this new facebook layout you have about and it's got your website ability to send a message the email it has what you do for your business and then your photos and up here on the top we have videos and photos in the order that you set up in the prior step. To get out of this view as visitor mode, you simply go up here in the top right and hit exit view as. Let's go back to templates and tabs and I don't have any events right now, so I'm gonna turn that off and I'm not offering any jobs, I'm gonna turn that off and I don't want any of this other stuff on here right now, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I don't really care about event ticketing, notifications, by default, anytime anyone does anything on your page, Facebook is gonna tell you, it's gonna send you a notification. But Facebook can send you things also by email or text if you want. And if that gets super crazy and annoying, you can turn it off. But if you're trying to generate business, maybe you do want to get a text anytime anyone does certain things up here. So adjust that to your taste and tolerance. I don't want to overwhelm you with most of these other possibilities over here, but let's just talk about Instagram. You for sure should set up your Instagram account. And to do that, you just hit connect account. It's going to take you to Instagram. For the moment, we'll just connect it to this page just so you can see how it works. This is important. You can only have your Instagram account connected to one Facebook page since that account is connected to another Facebook business page. I can't connect it here. I would need a separate account for that. If you don't have any Facebook pages set up yet, you'll have no problem connecting your account. The other setting on this page you might want to know about is the activity log. Click on that and you can see what's been happening on your page. Here's everything all in one page but once you have a lot of stuff going on you might want to see what's going on in terms of what other people have posted on your timeline or see what your comments are so you can stay on top of them right now when i click on comments i get nothing because the page was just created but once you have a very active page this is a great place to go to see where you need to start engaging again i quickly want to show you how to create a facebook cover video i have a full video on it up here you'll notice that when i'm on my facebook page and i click edit the option to upload a photo is here but the option to upload a video is not. I can only choose from videos. So that means I must upload a video first. So I'm gonna go down here where I can create a post and hit photo video. I'm gonna to navigate to my Facebook elements and here's a video I made just for this. Remember the ratio for a cover video or photo is 2.7 to one. And there it is, it's uploaded. I can give it a title, Rogue River, love this spot. And I'm just gonna hit next and publish it. I'm doing this because I need to have a video already published to my page before I can make it my cover video. There are publishing options when uploading a video, but I'm just uploading this video to be my cover video, so I don't really care about these. I'm just going to use the defaults. It may take a minute for Facebook to process your video, but when it is available, you'll know it because when you hit refresh, you'll see it on your page. And there is a video. Notice that it has that wide aspect ratio, just like the space up here. So there's that cool video. I'll hit edit and now I can choose from videos and I have one video. It should be between 20 and 90 seconds long. And now when somebody lands on this page, that's what they're going to see. Up here on the top right, I can automatically replay in a loop and I do want to do that. I don't want to just stop. I'll hit next. I can choose a thumbnail and do they all look the same and great because it's just a shot of a river. I'll hit save changes. And now when somebody lands on my page, this is what they are going to see. Your videos do not need to have audio. I suggest that you don't make audio a priority because most people won't listen to the audio, but if it does have audio, make it intentional. And notice that here in the bottom right, any viewer can click on the volume icon to hear what's happening with your video. And notice earlier, remember I couldn't create a username. I can come back in a week or two and I'll be able to create a username so I can have a custom URL. Now, one more thing we haven't talked about that you really wanna do is to add a button. You want a call to action. What do you want people to do when they come to your page? It's like, oh cool, look at that cool video. That's great, that's not gonna get you business. They need to click on something. So I'm gonna click on add a button and I can choose what that button does. Make, a, make it easy to follow you, eh. View a gift card, eh. How about call you? That's probably what you want them to do is call you. So you should hit call you. You can put in your phone number and 
when they click here, they'll be able to call you if they are on their cell phones. Otherwise, they'll just see your number and be able to call you. So you want to make it really easy for people to find you so they can do business with you because that is the goal of a Facebook business page. It can be for other things, but I'm specifically talking to you realtors and other business owners. One thing you want to make sure you do is promote your page. Share it. Let people in your database know. Let people on your Facebook page, your personal Facebook page know about this. Share this link on Twitter and on Instagram and LinkedIn so people know to follow your page. Whenever you post something regarding your business, you should post it here and then share it to your personal page. Facebook shares content on your personal page much, much more than they share on your business page. Facebook wants you to run ads on your business page. So if you have a business page and you want it to grow, you can run ads, but you need to take the initiative to share your Facebook business page yourself so it can help generate business for you. For more information on how to create a Facebook cover video, go ahead and click on that link right up there. Remember to subscribe by hitting that button right down there. I cannot wait to see your incredible and creative and highly engaging Facebook business pages.